in this pot right here, I might have the best recipe you're ever gonna make in your jet boil. Yeah, you can actually cook in your jet boil. You can actually do more things than just boiling water and adding it to a bag. It's really good. You're gonna wanna find out. Let's do it. It's cooked up in like less than 10 minutes. This is amazing. It's gonna make a lot of people happy. Hey yo, Chef Corso, Outdoor Eats. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. Fast, easy, and tasty for wherever you're going outside. Hiking, backpacking, RVing, van life in, overlanding, whatever you're doing, I want you to be able to eat well. So we are talking about another great recipe here in the jet boil stove systems. If you missed my last one, here it is. It focuses on beef jerky super tasty. And yes, I am back outside. Very, very exciting times. Uh, I just also finished a series of inside cooking. Weird, because I am also an inside chef. And you need some quick, easy recipes to be able to cook inside this winter before you're, you know, getting back out on those day hikes and getting out this spring. So what we are cooking on today, in which jet boil we are cooking on today, we are cooking on the jet boil zip. And what we are making here today, folks, is a chicken pot pie bowl. No, we are not going to bake a pot pie in a jet boil zip. So what I've done is sort of deconstructed and hacked the flavors and the textures of a chicken pot pie to be able to cook it in our small pot here. Let's see what we've got going and see what our ingredients are for our chicken pot pie bowl. So we've got a chicken packet. We have some water. We have our jet boil stove system. And here is the main recipe here. And as you can see, in the classic recipe, we have a chicken bouillon cube and some arrowroot powder or flour in order to thicken it up. And that absolutely works with some other seasonings. But if you want to maybe not take three ingredients and just take one, you can grab a chicken gravy packet. And look at that, makes two cups of pioneer gravy. It's been maybe making gravy since 1851. How about that? We also have a mustard packet, which I'll talk about in a little bit. We also have some fresh veggies. And what I have here is some baby carrots and some snap peas. You can choose your own adventure as far as fresh veggies, but I went pretty classic here as far as throwing the classic carrots, peas. And don't be afraid about packing fresh ingredients. These will last for a couple days on the trail with minimal issue. And it's gonna give you that great crunch, that great flavor, that great texture that you really want out of your trail meals rather than just sloppy stuff, you know, at the bottom of your pot. The star of the show here is a croissant. But let's talk about croissants and pie dough for a second. So you might be thinking that this isn't gonna taste all that good because we don't have pie dough. Well, let me tell you something here. So croissant dough is extremely similar to pie dough. What we have is some flour, we have some fat, we have some water, and we maybe have a teeny bit of salt. They're using the same ingredients, but for croissant dough, there's many, many more layers. So we fold and 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 we, fold and we keep going in order to get all these beautiful layers in our croissant dough. For pie crust, we want to just bring it together. There's maybe a few layers here, but then we wanna you know, not work it too much and get it into the pie pan and get it into the oven. So I think it tastes pretty good and I think it gives us the, the pr pretty darn good experience, but let's get cooking. We are just about boiling our pot here, but while that was happening, I ripped up my snap peas just with my fingers, nothing nothing crazy. And think about this, this croissant too, folks, is that what it's probably gonna look like is this. Yeah, it's pro probably not gonna look very good if it's been in your pack for a couple days. And you know what? That's completely okay. So these baby carrots really don't take all that long to get soft. I like them a little bit crunchy too. Again, for me, my, my outdoor meals, I really don't want them all soft and sloppy. I want some texture to them. And the thing about these chicken gravy packets too, any of the gravy packets actually, 
is they all have starch in them, so they really need to come up to a full simmer in order to reach their full thickening potential. So if you ever put it in, you're like, oh man, nothing's happening. Well, you probably need a little bit more heat, need a little bit more time in order to really, really let this have its power to do its job. The Pioneer Power. Wow, yeah, it's already starting to thicken up. That is looking really good already. So for this version of this recipe, I don't have any extra garlic powder, any extra sage, poultry seasoning, hot sauce, anything like that, but please feel free. This is the very, very straightforward, easy dump and easy cook version, but go nuts with this one. Yes, that is getting really close. I think it's time to throw these snap peas in here. Yes. Perfect amount for a pot. And the other thing, if you are still looking at me like I'm not packing our croissant, you know, I'm, I'm gonna eat my Costco croissants at home. I'm not gonna eat them on the trail. Well, I've got a hack or another, another tip for you. Just pack some Ritz crackers, you fancy fella. Put those. Oh, oh man, maybe both is the answer. I don't know. Oh man, I almost forgot the mustard. I've been sitting here the whole time. So why this is important, I love throwing mustard or acid or something in here to give it a little bit of, of freshness. Add a little bit of lemon as well, but mustard packets are obviously really easy packing. You probably have some in your drawer right now. Really great spot to use them up. That little bit of mustard, that little bit of acid is really gonna bring all of these flavors together. So give this a try, because I think you'll be surprised on how tasty it is. Ooh, yeah, I could all the way down the bottom. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is, that is a proper pot of chicken pot pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Man, this is cooked up in like less than 10 minutes. This is amazing. Really rich and hearty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. You got a little bit of freshness from the peas and the carrots. Really rich, a thick gravy. We've got croissants in there for our crust. Mm. Yeah, guys, you, you need to try this. This is, this is really good. It's going to make a lot of people happy. Well, guys, get out there. Cook with your jet boil. You can do so much more than boil water. I believe in you. You can do it. And... It's totally worth it. It's totally tasty. But get out there. Boca boca.